Hi, it's Alan Parekh here. I've had lots of email inquiries from people wanting some more video content. I'm starting a new project, so I figured this would be a great time to start. This is one of those external hard drive enclosures. It has a network uh, connection, so I get lots of use out of this from many computers around my house. And I, I've noticed that whenever I'm using this extensively, uh, it gets quite warm. There's really no ventilation on here. So I figured I'm going to punch a few holes in here and have a temperature controlled fan because I don't want the fan running all the time. So let's get started. Okay, so here's a uh, very basic diagram of what we're going to be doing. A temperature sensor is going to be feeding data into this microcontroller. The microcontroller is going to have some rules that will output to a fan or a few fans and an LED based on the temperature. Uh, I, don't, I don't want these just to turn on and turn off. I want them to ramp up slowly if it's, if it's just warm and go uh, full on if it's getting quite hot. And the LED will match what the fan is doing so you can sort of have a visual uh, sense of what's happening. Okay, so first thing we need to do is actually have a way of measuring what the temperature is. In this case, I've selected the LM35 to do that job. It's a precision centigrade temperature sensor, or Celsius. Now, of course, to go from Celsius to Fahrenheit, it's just a calculation. However, uh, you'll see why this one is actually called a, a Celsius device. This is the actual device right here. Nice and small. And this is the wiring diagram we're going to be using. So this uh, device can take anywhere from 4 to 20 volts. Ground on one pin. And on the third pin you have your output. Now here's what's nice about this. Uh, this output is 0 millivolts plus 10 millivolts per degree Celsius. So what's nice about this is, um, so if the reading was let's say 30 millivolts, you would know right away that that's uh, 3 degrees Celsius. Okay, page number 2 shows us how we're actually going to hook this up. So looking at the bottom of the device, actually that's backwards with the curve on the bottom, like so. The left pin is power in, the center pin is our voltage out, and our right pin is ground. Okay, so here's the actual temperature sensor sitting in a breadboard. And as we know, the breadboard, all these lines are connected together. So the leftmost pin is connected to this wire right here. And this is actually going off to my power supply. That's actually bringing in 5 volts. And the rightmost pin is connected to this white wire, which is ground. So basically, this is what we have connected. We have 5 volts connected to power in. We have our ground connected. And then our output is based on this diagram the output is the center pin and so here the center pin is connected to this yellow wire and this green wire is connected to ground and that just basically comes over to this meter here or meter leads which goes over to this meter and so right now it's reading uh, 0.233 volts so that's basically saying that it's 23 degrees in here. And this meter here is connected over to this uh, temperature probe. And so this temperature probe right now says the room is 20, 22 or 23 degrees. So that matches. Okay, so what we have here is uh, I've just taken a few jumper wires and a small cable and extended the temperature sensor and the thermocouple from the, the other meter over to this glass and there's a little bit of water in here which is just some water that I've taken out of the fridge so it's fairly cool and we can see here that it's uh, about 18 or 19 degrees then I have a cup here of some hot water and let's just see what happens I'll just add a little bit of course, I spilt it everywhere. So these are just tapes. Uh, the, the sensors are taped to the glass. Um, 
might not be a really really good connection thermal connection but uh, it seems to do not too, not too bad okay so we've gone up a little bit let's introduce some more Hmm, surprisingly enough this uh, glass isn't very isn't very warm compared to this glass. Let me add a lot more. I think the I think this glass is actually a very good insulator. Okay, so it looks like both of those, uh, the thermocouple and the uh, LM35 are tracking quite nicely. So it looks like the circuit works. For more information, please go to alanparek.com.